Hello everyone, uh, Tim Taylor here with this month's uh, T3 video. Uh, I want to spend uh, time today to go over a little bit more about Google Drive and how we hope and, and our ambition is by the end of this school year, we or you are taking your files, folders that you have on your current H drive and you're transferring them over to Google Drive. Uh, now, stating that, this is a perfect opportunity to look into your H drive and just move things over to your Google Drive that you need. It's a good opportunity to, to kind of clean your closet out, as I kind of say. Uh, I have a lot of files on my H drive, but I've been saving everything since last year directly on my Google Drive, anything new. And what I'm determining is, is how much I really need on my H drive before I copy it over here to my Google Drive. So, uh, you know, people from our tech advisor group or your ITRCs may have already mentioned this to you, but uh, we really like to be able to get to the point where we can eliminate the, the, our, our servers that hold all of our uh, H drives. It just saves us money. It's less servers we've got to deal with. So, and there's just so many advantages about uh, using Google Drive. It's accessible anywhere you have uh, internet access. You can log into your account, you can pull up your files. Uh, right now, if you save stuff in your H drive, you go home and try to pull it up, you can't access it. So that's one major value. Uh, you have limited storage space in your H drive with Google Drive. It's unlimited. You can store anything as much as you want up there. Uh, one thing that I mentioned earlier in the year, but I just want to remind you, uh, if you install okay, uh, Google Drive locally on your machine, you can store things locally, and they sync with your files and folders on the cloud. But if your internet goes down, if you have that installed locally, Google Drive, you can actually still work on documents. And then when you get back to an internet connection, it will automatically sync and save all the changes that you made. So let's go ahead and go into our drive. I'm right now here. You'll see my Gmail and also have a tab for my calendar. Uh, to get to Drive, I just go ahead and click here. And I click on Drive, and it'll bring my drive up. And you'll notice that I have a lot of files and folders. Uh, already in my drive. Like I said, I've been, I've been using it now for a couple of years, and I'm very happy that it's unlimited. How to download the, the drive. Now, to, once you download drive locally, this is how, where you'll be able to see it. If I click on my folder down here, you'll see a little icon underneath favorites. Now, for some computers, it may be located in a different place, but you'll see this little icon. When you see this, that means that I have uh, downloaded drive locally on this computer. So if I click, you'll notice that here, these folders mirror the exact folder names over here. But this here is basically on, on the web via my browser, and this is locally on my machine. But again, if whatever I do here automatically syncs with what's on the cloud, and whatever I do in the cloud will automatically sync locally on my computer. Like I said, if I lose internet connection, as soon as I get back on the web, they will sync right up. It's nothing I mainly have to do myself. The way that you get this drive downloaded, I'm going to close this now, is once you're on drive, you go to your little gear settings here. You click and you just go to download drive. And then you just go ahead and download drive. It will ask you to go ahead and uh, once you have it installed, it will ask you to log in and it will start syncing all of your files up. Another thing that you'll notice is down at the bottom here, you'll see a little your little drive icon at the bottom uh, once you've installed that drive. But I basically want to take this time just to show you how easy it is to transfer files from your H drive to your Google Drive. I'm going to click right here uh, on the folder, my Windows Explorer. It'll come up here where I can just access all my drives, and you'll see here's my H drive. So I go ahead and click, and there it is. It's opened up. Uh, and what's nice about transferring files and folders over to your Google Drive is if you have uh, folders within folders, uh, that's fine. Like if I go to budget proposals here and open it up, notice I have a bunch of folders here. If I drive, if I take this uh, main folder and I drag this to my Google Drive, it will copy all the subfolders, the files in there, etc. So it's very easy to move things over. But again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I think it's a great opportunity. Just don't come in here and do one of these numbers where you shift and you know select all of them, and then and then boom, you're gonna copy all over there. You know, really just take a little bit of time and just identify things that you know you really need. Uh, I know some of us are kind of pack rats. I'm as guilty as any of us. 
But like I said, that's the reason I right now what I'm doing is I'm actually just kind of putting things, everything I create new goes into drive. I'm slowly as I go over here to H, if I find I'm going to a folder a lot, I'll copy it over here. But uh, if I don't, you know, I'm just kind of letting it go. I'm probably just going to put it on an external drive, and when we get rid of our H drives, that's that's it. Um, I, I don't want you to be, you know, worried about, oh, no, all of a sudden I'm going to come to school one day, and I have one day to, to make sure I got everything copied over. We're going to give you fair warning. Um, uh, whenever we're trying, when we get to the point where we really like to eliminate the, the file servers that have your H drives on it, but, it, but again, what we're trying to do is just giving you a heads up here so you can kind of start looking at this and trying to get your files and folders uh, moved over. If you need any assistance or anything, I really don't mind coming down and assisting you uh, to help you out. But again, our ITR season tech advisory people can do it as well. How easy is it? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take, again, I have my H drive open here. I've got my drive in the background. Uh, what I can do here is I can go ahead and just kind of shrink this window up a little bit. And notice if I go ahead and let's say I have advisory group. Again, it's got a bunch of files and everything in here. If I want to put this into my drive, it's as simple as just dragging. Okay. And notice there you can't see the whole little thing. But it says incoming. Drop your files and instantly upload them to drive. I just go ahead and drop it. And in the bottom right-hand corner, see it's it's uh, uploading uh, the files that's in this uh, folder. And again, if there's any other folders, it would also upload. Notice it's a total of 8.6 megs. So it's very, very easy to do that. I'm going to go and click Cancel. All right, and close that window. I'll bring it back up. Okay. Uh, again, as I mentioned, there's a little drive folder. If you click here and drag, that's another way you can just copy to Google Drive as well. If I do that, okay, it says, hey, do you want to go ahead and copy the one I've already done? All right, because I already have an advisory group folder. As you notice, I did 9, 10, uh, 9 29, 2011. I can do yes, and it'll copy it all over there. So, you know, you can drag once you have it installed locally, or you can go ahead and just drag it to uh, via your web browser either way. Uh, here I showed folders, but if I come in here, and really I just want this one file, uh, and again, you can put Word documents in there, Excel, whatever you want. If I click here, boom, same type icon there. Okay, I can drag it directly into my drive. Okay, so pretty easy there. Just drag and drop. Uh, if you have any questions on this, and like I said, don't hesitate to contact us to get any help and assistance. But uh, it's a good time now to kind of be thinking. I know a lot of you have a lot of files in there on your H drive, but you know, just now, you just take a little bit of time now and then, just drag a folder or two, uh, see what's valuable to you, get it over there. Because again, it's just it's just so nice to be able to go to Google Drive to access all your files no matter where you are. If you have an internet connection, uh, it's a great, great benefit. And like I said, it's unlimited storage. Okay. Secret word. It's pretty obvious. Let's go ahead and use Drive when it comes to the door prize for this week. So uh, go ahead and uh, just send me that uh, secret word. And again, you'll be eligible for the door prize for this, this month's T3 video. And you'll have your name in a hat another time in addition to what you've already submitted uh, for the hover cam, document camera at the end of the year. Hope everyone's staying warm uh, and take care.